so the first thing you'll notice when you when you boot up Xbox and um, and your your Xbox is connected, you'll get this thing called the dashboard, and the dashboard is kind of tells you what's going on. Um, you got your friends, your voice chat, and so on and so forth. So you can actually go into your friends here, and um, you can see your entire friends list and what they're doing, and you can actually send them messages, and you can send voice invites. Uh, so you can say, I want to add you as a friend, and I can put a little voice tag on it. You can see what people are doing. You can see that this guy's playing Splinter Cell online. This guy's playing Mech Assault. Um, so that's really the dashboard. Um, so once you pop the game in, uh, that's when the magic really comes to life. So let's pop one of the games in here. It'll take a second to boot up. We're popping in Rainbow Six Three, which is one of our more popular, uh, popular titles. And Rainbow Six Three uh, is, is, is a first-person shooter. Um, so you're shooting things, um, and it's 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 a really it's a really uh, excellent game. They're coming out with a follow-up Rainbow Six Three Black Arrow in August, and that's gonna. It's, it's some people think it's an add-on pack, but it's actually using a lot of the new features that we shipped about three or four months ago. Because a lot of people forget that when we did the updates in April, that now it's up to the game manufacturers to adopt those. And so Rainbow Six Three Black Arrow is one of the first ones to do it. So we're going to go in here, and um, you can kind of get some of the magic of Xbox Live uh, as we go through the dozen or so splash screens. Uh, so let's go in here, and I'm actually logging out to Live right now. And what's neat is I can go in here and quickly get into a match, or more importantly, I can kind of go down here and see... These are the statistics. So everything you're doing on Xbox Live is being captured with the kills, your survival, the deaths, your ratio, your time. I can see exactly how much time this person has spent on. And conversely, people can see what they, how much time I've spent on. So it's really about capturing, um, capturing a lot of the great data. Uh, of course, you can just go quick match. So we've got quick match and optimatch. Quick match is you can just keep punching A, and you're going to go right into a game. So it's the, the service is searching for a game that's near me, and then it'll quickly find one, and, uh, and then we can get playing. So you just keep punching A, you're eventually going to get into a game. So we can see this one's um, got the mission style, and if I click A, I'm going to go right into this. So here I go. I'm going to go right into the live service. Um, you can see I'm connecting, connecting to the, uh, the other player's box, and we're getting into the session. So that's what it's really all about. The magic of Xbox Live is about connecting with the friends, the great statistics that you're capturing, and more importantly, this thing, the voice. Every single Xbox Live game has voice, which is unbelievable. It adds such a great dimension to the uh, to the to the gaming experience. You're in here, and you're you're able to talk track talk smack with your with your uh, with your enemies. One of the games, which is one of our more popular ones, is uh, Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell: Pandora Tomorrow. You can actually walk up behind a character, grab him, and right before you break his neck you can whisper into his ear. So it's kind of it's kind of wild. You hold down the A button and say, all right, I'm going to break your neck now, and you hit the button, and it breaks his neck. So it's really kind of cool. But voice is really critical for Xbox Live, and that's one of the differentiators for us.